That story, police investigating the cold blood murder of renowned environmentalist Joanna Stachbury retrieved three spent cartridges that will be crucial in the probe. Stachbury, who was waylaid and shot dead by assailants a few meters away from her Thindigua home on Thursday afternoon. She was a vocal conservation activist, especially dedicated to preservation of Kiambu Forest. The environmental activist uh, sometime last year posted on her social media pages claims of threats by private developers who allegedly wanted to grab part of Kiambu Forest. Thursday evening along this road that leads to the homestead of Joanna Stachbury, the 64-year-old Kenya environmentalist, met her killers. It is about 200 meters from her house. According to Stachbury's farm workers, they were startled by at least two gunshots, on rushing to the scene, Stachbury's lifeless body lay motionless in a pool of blood. She was driving back home from lunch. Uh, when, uh, before reaching a uh, compound, uh, she saw a branch of um, wood uh, on the road, and she decided to disembark uh, with the view of removing the same uh, structure. Uh, in the process, she was shot. Preliminary investigations show that the killers were well aware of the whereabouts of Sachbury at the time and were monitoring her movements. Slews from the homicide unit of the Directorate of Criminal Investigation say the killers possibly used the thick forest to access the area. Nothing was stolen as all her items were found intact inside the car. The assassins had only one mission, to finish her. But why? As Amnesty International, we knew her from her courageous uh, attempt to stop um, a wetland just behind her house um, being uh, essentially excavated in order to make way for a road um, for properties that were being uh, essentially carved out of the forest. And um, back in February 2018, um, she literally put her body into the arm of a digger to protect um, the wetlands. We checked the, the, the vehicle in the course of processing, uh, we found our belongings were all intact, so there was nothing stolen. And as investigations continue, claims of threats she received and posted on her Facebook page in February may just be crucial leads the detectives will pursue for leads. In the post, Touchbury claimed a private developer who wanted to build a road through the wetland to access the forest drew a gun on her. She said, quote, the developer pulled a gun on me telling me he was going to kill me if I didn't go home. Yeah, right? Picked the wrong little old lady. Exclamation mark. She was involved in a several cases, at least two uh, cases, um, that had been brought against um, uh, individuals and companies that were essentially trying to excise uh, uh, aspects of the, the forest. So whether it is that lead that the Director of Criminal Investigations will follow, or whether it is another lead, um, I would not want to speculate. The vocal environment activist in 2018 blocked a private developer from building a road across the wetland in Kiambu. Kenya Forest Service in a statement said Stachbury was instrumental in supporting the institution's role of protecting the Kiambu Forest Reserve by notifying the service of any illegal activities occurring within the forest and also moved to court to report and condemn such activities. President Uru Kenyatta and environmental activists have condemned the assassination. The president, while mourning her death, ordered swift investigations into her murder and the bringing of her killers to book.